so tell me, Kyle, how you wound up in Kenosha that day. Um, well, it actually started on August 24th. Um, I was working my job as a lifeguard at the RecPlex in Kenosha County, and then the riots were still going on and a curfew was implied. So I went to Dominic Black's house and I stayed the night over there and saw the videos of the riots and the arson going on. Um, what did you think of it? It was upsetting because Kenosha is my community. Um, and I just was upset seeing my community up in flames. Yeah, I bet you were. Um, so you're at your friend's house that night. You've come back from working as a lifeguard. Yes. And then you decide to go in. First, you're cleaning up graffiti, correct? Uh, yes. So we say the night August. I say the night August 24th. We wake up in the morning and we're talking. We're like, let's go. Let's go help our community. Let's go see what we can do. And we ended up at Ruther Central High School where we were cleaning graffiti for a couple hours. And then we met with the owners of Car Source and we offered to protect their business from fires, making sure the rest of their other two properties didn't get burned down like they did the night prior and they agreed. Um, we came back, we went back to Dominic's house and um, hung out there for a little bit and then we went to uh, Car Source to help protect the property and make sure it didn't set on fire again. So you get there, what do you see? Uh, when I get there, um, I see in the beginning, the morning of Ruther Central, I see just spray paint everywhere. I see smoke coming from the car source that was burnt down, and it was quite upsetting as that was somebody's business that got destroyed. Yeah. So you said to the people who own the car lot, I want to protect your cars, and they said, yes, please. Um, I, I said, hey, if you... I, I, asked if they needed any help and they said yes if you can 